Political reporter Charles Croucher, good afternoon to you, Charles. Now, what did the Prime Minister have to say? Amber, Malcolm Turnbull's given a number of opportunities to condemn this move and chose not to. Already we've seen British PM Theresa May, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Canadian PM Justin Trudeau to condemn this. Instead, our Prime Minister took the diplomatic option, saying he wouldn't run a commentary on domestic policies of other countries. Malcolm Turnbull did say any criticism would be done privately. He's also said Australia's policies are well known. It's unclear at the moment if any Australians with dual nationalities are affected by this executive order, although the Department of Foreign Affairs says they haven't had any requests for assistance. Both Labor and the Greens have condemned the policy, but the Prime Minister was content with a no comment of sorts. It is not my job as Prime Minister of Australia to run a commentary on the domestic policies of other countries. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade has not received any requests for consular assistance from Australians unable to board transport to the United States. Malcolm Turnbull confirmed that President Trump will adhere to a refugee resettlement deal signed by President Obama. There were no details, though, on how early the first refugees from Manus Island and Nauru will be resettled in the United States.